好，咁我哋呢就继续嚟温一温植物嘅气体交换啦。咁我哋照样用返第八条嘅图表啦。随住温度变化啦，呢、這、一个水道嘅光合作用啦，同埋呼吸作用嘅速率呢，究竟有咩嘅改变嘅？咁题目今次呢，就叫我哋用返图表嘅数据啦。咁以下三句说话啦，边一个呢？係可以去解释得到？究竟随住温度嘅增加？究竟光合作用同埋呼吸作用嘅速率點解會改變呢？咁你睇翻個圖表啦，分別喺三十度同埋四十度咧，光合作用同埋呼吸作用咧就已經係開始慢慢下降咯。咁啊呢條題目啦，自不然考翻我哋有關於數據分析嘅技巧啦。今次咧我哋就作出解釋，嗰句啦係用翻圖表去揾翻一個可能性嘅解釋啊嚇。咁所以其實呢條題目咧考幾樣嘢嘅，啊佢可以考下啦，有關於咧。植物嘅蒸騰同埋佢成長嘅一啲關係啦，酶嘅反應同埋温度嘅敏感度啦，就係隨住温度增加，咁酶嘅活性又會如何咧？咁第一句就講啦，隨住温度增加咧，呢棵植物嘅蒸騰嘅速率咧都係會增加嘅，所以就導致到咧光合作用啦同埋呼吸作用嘅速率咧都下降啦。咁呢句説話咧係錯嘅。嗱，雖然温度增加。的確係可以令到棵植物嘅蒸騰作用嘅速率咧係增加嘅。不過喺幅圖嗰樹，我真係睇唔出佢有任何嘅 water loss 啊嘛，係咪？啊，我哋知道温度係有改變，但係我唔知道佢 transpiration 嘅速率真係有咩變化。咁呢句説話咧，的確又同我當咗啱嘅，因為啦，隨住温度增加，植物嘅蒸騰作用係真係會快咗噶嘛。咁啊，因為啦，水分嘅蒸發會快咗啦。又或者啦，係嗰個水分子咧做擴散，由塊葉嘅氣室 air space 就去到 atmosphere 大氣嘅時候，嗰、那個擴散速率亦真係快咗啦。咁呢個的確係大家學翻嚟嘅。咁但係今次啦，關呢兩個 photosynthesis 同埋 respiration 咩事咧 ？OK， 甚至乎佢哋要推到極致，就係話啦，喂，蒸騰作用太快啦，兩 sir 快到係乜嘢啊？快到咧，可能個 stomata 嗰個氣孔啊～直頭係閂埋咗啦，氣孔都閂埋咯，咁吸嘅氣味少啲咯。嗱，如果你要推到呢步嘅話咧，咁其實即係已經係推得太遠啦。因為喺幅圖嗰處，其實佢有冇講到有關於個 stomata 個氣孔嘅開關咧？冇啊嘛。咁所以啦，呢一句咧，推到呢一步已經係變得唔成立啦，太過分啦，已經係。正所謂火車出曬鬼啦。第二句啦，佢就講咧，啲煤咧喺太高温嘅時候咧就會變成啦。咁呢個就係正確啦，因為真係齋睇個温度，我哋已經知道啦。越高温，其實啲煤呢就越大機會就變成，就令到啦光合作用啦，同埋呼吸作用啦嘅速率呢都係會下降嘅。咁第二句呢係正確嘅。去到第三句啦，佢就係講呢光合作用同埋呼吸作用呢，佢哋呢兩個反應係分別發生喺不同嘅細胞器嗰處嘅。嗱呢句説話呢，又係一個嘅干擾嘅答案嚟嘅，又係 distractor。咁我哋過往有段片呢。去解釋過嘅咩叫干擾答案？咁啊，因為啦，第一同第三句呢兩句説話咧，佢本身係真確嘅，只不過啦喺幅圖度睇唔到出嚟，又或者啦唔能夠真係去解釋到嗰件事啫嘛。咁而家今次呢個情況咧就係啦，佢就係屬於一個真確嘅句子，之但係佢唔能夠解釋到光合作用同埋呼吸作用，佢隨住温度增加而下降嘅呢個趨勢。所以第三句都係錯，所以答案咧就係 boy 啦。So the next question is also about the plant gas exchange. We are going to study the effects of the temperature on the photosynthetic rate and the respiration rate. So based on the data shown in the graph, which of the following is or are possible explanations for the drops in two rates? At 30 degrees Celsius, the photosynthetic rate starts to drop, and at 40 degrees Celsius, the respiration rate starts to drop. So for this question, it's checking us the skills for the data analysis, especially to propose an explanation based on the graph. And secondly, for the concept checking, we need to understand the plant physiology related to the transpiration and growth. And also, we are checking the knowledge about the enzyme activity and its temperature sensitivity. So remember that we are going to use the graph to propose an explanation for the drops in two rates. So let's go through the answer one by one. First statement: At higher temperature, the transpiration rate increases. This statement is true itself. However, it is not a correct answer because even the transpiration rate it might really increase. 
it does not directly explain the drop in both photosynthesis and respiration rate. Some students, they really chose this option as a correct answer because they think that for the higher temperature, it will really increase the transpiration rate because for the water evaporation rate increases and also the for the water diffusion from the air space of the leaf to the surrounding also increases yes i agree however it cannot explain that the photosynthesis rate and the respiration rate it will increase and you may think that no 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 mr Le, i even deduced that once the transpiration rate become higher higher and higher so the plant the leaf it will close the stomata there will be a stomato closure and then once the stomata is smaller and then once the size of the stomata is smaller it can uptake less oxygen or less carbon dioxide and then it will lead to a lower photosynthesis and respiration so you will see that if you have such deduction i will ask you that in the graph can you see any data about the stomato closure no, you never see the changes in the size of the stomata in this graph. You just see that the temperature, right? Therefore, this statement is wrong. So your deduction is just so overthinking for this question. So option one, wrong. And then for the second one, the M's are involved in nature at a high temperature is the correct answer because this question is really direct. MSI denaturation at higher temperature can really reduce both photosynthetic rate I'm sorry, and respiration rate. So that's the correct answer. And then for statement number three, the two processes take place at different organelles of the cells. Just like statement one, this statement is true itself. However, it just cannot explain the rate changes say so in previous video i have ever mentioned that there are distractors in the questions some statement they are true itself however we may not be able to see it from the graph or even the statement is true itself it cannot explain the particular phenomenon therefore they are still not the answer so the answer is b2 only